guys and welcome back to my channel or should I say Calimera from Greece. So I'm in Santorini at the moment and I'm here for a few days and apologies if it's a little bit echoey. I have got the biggest hotel room. Like I don't know if you can see there's two beds here then there's literally one next to me here. I have a table here in my own bathroom and my own balcony but I did manage to forget my tripod so even with all this space I'm balancing my camera literally if I turn you guys around on the fridge but it's kind of working okay, so we're gonna go with that. But I'm here for a few days for a marine biology diving conference, which I'm so excited about, and I'm gonna film some stuff hopefully to do with that in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. But it's really cool, it's using like virtual reality, and they've mapped the morphology of the sea floor around Santorini, so anywhere in the world you can like, kind of dive around as if you're there, but you're not there. So it's very cool. So hopefully um, I'll be able to get some footage of that for you guys. But whilst I'm here, I'm just planning on, I've got a few destinations in mind and I think I'm gonna split them into individual videos um, of like the Caldera, of the Red Beach, White Beach, Black Beach, but I'm only here for a few days. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get done. And also all the ruins of the previous civilization. So there's so much to do on Santorini and so much to see. And of course I'm gonna try and get do all of it but um we'll see how much i actually get done because i am working during the day so we shall see but i'm gonna go zoom to breakfast now um i really hope you guys enjoy i have no idea what this video is going to be actually i think today my plan is to go to scaros which is like a um point near Fira, well just off of Fira, I'll try and write some stuff down below if you actually want this to be like a guide, and um, it's a ruin there of what was once a castle many many years ago, but it got destroyed in an earthquake and it never was rebuilt because of the hazard of the earthquake, and that earthquake was one of the knock-on effects of one of the massive volcanic eruptions. So for those of you who don't know, Santorini, it is a volcanic island. The whole topography of the island is made up because of these four main faces of um, volcanic eruptions. There's been more eruptions than that, but there's four main ones that have kind of shaped Santorini we know today. And the name Santorini, there's actually like three previous names. Callisti, that was the first one. I've got to remember all the names. Then it was like Scolith, Scolig, something like this, which literally, I wrote them down, which literally means um, circular, which kind of fits because if you look at the shape of Santorini, you've got the, basically the caldera of the volcano that you can kind of see. But let me see if I wrote it down. Strogly, Stongly, <laughs> my, my, I think I've spelt it wrong, or autocorrect is, I'll write it on the screen. But they're the previous names of Santorini and then it got renamed as Santorini. So today we'll go to Scaros, which the eruption happened 70,000 years ago and all the houses and infrastructure was lost to that earthquake and the infrastructure was never rebuilt um, because of that risk. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. So this is my view outside my room. I don't know if it'll show up because of the light. Oh, it should do as long as my face isn't in it. Wait, let me just open this. Look at that. This is literally just outside my apartment. It's a geologist's dream. <laughs> Look at that landscape. It is spectacular here. I, I literally feel like I'm in heaven. And then this is my room, which is, you know, a modest size for just me. <laughs> dun dun dun! So I'm so excited to be here. So I'm gonna now dash to breakfast, but I just thought I'd give you a quick, like, little run around in my room because it's massive. I can literally have a dance show in here if I wanted to. But um, yeah, let's go get some food. So I'm now walking from Fira to Scaros, which is a really lovely walk. You can see here around the edge of the island and you're actually walking on the caldera of the volcanoes here. So when I say this is spectacular, it is so spectacular. So Scaros Rock is just around the corner, but you can see here how the island kind of hoops round in a circular shape and you can see the two ends there. So it's not a very big island. There's not much to it but so much infrastructure has been built in such a small area. So here you can see the map where you can see the shape a bit more clearly and you can also see the ferry routes and cruise line routes. So it's a very touristic and uh, popular island and um, you'll understand why hopefully just from this video. But in the back of my mind, I am just thinking it's a bit over touristic for the size of it but you can see the kind of shape of it here and so this is all made due to volcanism and it's really amazing and i know um 
some of my colleagues at the conference here, they dive around Santorini and they can see the sea floor topography, which is meant to be spectacular. So here is just some footage of me walking towards Scarus Rock. So you can see just how many buildings are crammed onto the edge here, but the buildings are beautiful. I'm sure some of you are aware of the lovely blue colors. They're blue, white, yellow. They're just, they are spectacular. So it's usually the churches that are blue and white. Um, but they are beautiful. So you can just see here the weather and everything. Even though I'm in autumn currently when I went, um, the weather was my ideal like weather. It was the perfect temperature for actually walking and exploring. I wasn't too hot or too cold. It was just perfect. And you can see here, it, it's literally everywhere you look, it looks like a postcard. It is just beautiful. So it is really, really amazing. So you can come with me as we trek towards Scarus. I think we're going to see it soon, but I just wanted to show you just how much like infrastructure is built on the edge here. So we are seeing Scarus now, so I'm about to zoom in. You can see that kind of lump at the top there. That is Scarus rock that we're going to be climbing to today. And then if you look on the right, it almost looks like snow on top of a mountain, but it's the white houses of all the hotels and infrastructure that has been built up on Santorini. It is kind of cool to see but also scary and then here we're getting closer so we're about 20 minutes away and here is Scarus Rock so you can see the stairs going up to it it is amazing to see and I'm going to show you now a piece of artwork um, this was created by an artist like centuries ago I'm just trying to remember his name so you'll see it here now. So Thomas Hope drew this in 1790. And so you can see Scarus Rock at the top there. And then all these buildings were kind of cascaded around and it was built as like a little civilization. And um, you can see that they were really like, they thought it was a really good place to build. But obviously Scarus Rock was created from volcanism and volcanism also destroyed this civilization. So there's um, lots of ruins and remains of what once was, but um, you can walk there, which is what I'm doing today. So there is a nice path that kind of takes you to the base of it, but then you have to do some full on rock climbing to get to the top. But I'm, I'm feeling ambitious. So this is me just proving to my mother that it is me here and I'm not just stealing these photos from someone else because they are so beautiful. Like the landscape is so extreme at Santorini. It is just, it's almost unbelievable. And these pictures and videos, they don't do it justice. And I did record, obviously, tourists, they can't just respect geology or anything, to be honest. They always have to make it their own and vandalize it in their own way. So, of course, everywhere you look, you've got initials etched in, which, you know, sometimes in caves, if a celebrity's done it, People think it adds to the value of the tourism, but here I'm just, kind of makes me a bit sad. But you can see around where I'm walking the like walls and like the remains of what once was. And then if we look here, you can see just how red some of these layers are. Like the colors of Santorini is amazing. You might've heard of the red beach, black beach, white beach. So depending what minerals are in the lava during the eruption, you get some spectacular colors. So here you can see I'm about to climb up this. <laughs> so the terrain got quite rocky very fast. So the path kind of stops and then it's your own choice. But I mean, look at that view. Like, it's just amazing. So here you can see the little people. So I'm just showing you where, like this is Scarus Rock. This is the top point that I'm trying to get to. But uh, it does look nasty from the bottom. So it's about a 20 meter climb like past the point you can walk to but I mean everywhere you look it's just amazing like the layers of rock I just I love it so here the scrambling begins so you can see some other people trying to get up as well even though it was um, autumn so many people were there so I am now at the top so this is the very top of Scarus Rock I survived the climb and the view was definitely worth it. I couldn't not get to that just little higher point. <laughs> but there you go. How beautiful is that? Just amazing. Okay, so now I have to run back because I am due to be working today and that took a little bit longer than expected to get right to the top of that. So we're kind of running back to Fira now, but that was so worth it. Just look at that. <laughs> amazing. So I'm back now and what a day it has been. So I climbed up to Scarra's all the way to the top, which you have to full on scramble. Um, so 
yeah, you can walk, there's a nice path to like the base of it and then that final 20 meters, you have to full on rock climb, which is really fun, but also terrifying when you're on your own. But um, that was really good fun. And the walk there is so picturesque and the views from the top are just, I can't even describe them. Like I hope some of the footage I got does do them justice, but it's just phenomenal here in Santorini. It really is beautiful. But to think I'm here out of season, there is still so many people here. And it's just crazy to think that such a small island can get 2 million visitors a year. So in my mind, like my geo conservation is kind of going a bit crazy that I'm like, this isn't sustainable tourism whatsoever. And this poor little island, I don't know how it can cope. And it's got such amazing like geology as well. I'm just... Yeah, that kind of baffles me. And of course, I appreciate that it gives jobs to the locals and helps the economy, but there's got to be a limit because this island, I mean, for locals here, I'd be interested to talk to an actual, you know, local person from Santorini and know what they, like, how they feel about it. Because I just think, you know, having such an influx of tourists all the time, do their local traditions or culture, is, is there anything left? You know, like, for instance, I found out a really cool fact about the blue and white buildings. You probably see them on all the postcards. And they're, in fact, churches. And a lot of the households here in Santorini, the families each have a private church. It's a very religious place. And uh, the interesting thing, that's how they deal with geohazards. So instead of uh, doing any other management, but there's not much you can do with volcanoes, they would build churches and they would pray and that would help prevent an eruption or an earthquake, etc. So that's, they would just build another church. That was their way of dealing with the geohazards, which I do find amusing. And also the culture of that I love. And the blue uh, roofs is to do with like almost mirroring the sky. So it has like an open com uh, communication with God. Um, so that was, that's what I've been told anyway, which I think is quite a nice story of the blue and white houses because you see them, like you search for Santorini and that's all you see, these blue and whites. And it's so beautiful. Like being here in person, I really appreciate it. Seeing the photos, I always thought, wow, it's a gorgeous place, but it is something really special here. Um, I just hope that the tourism doesn't destroy it forever, you know, but that would be amusing. Just have another eruption and start again. <laughs> <laughs> Not amusing for the people, of course, but there we go. But anyway, that is day one done. So I hope you enjoyed this crazy video. I know it was all over the place. Um, I just thought that whilst I'm here, I have to try and get some stuff for you guys. And the island is amazing, so I'm trying to break it into a few, but I might be biting more than I can chew, but we're gonna see. So let me know what you guys think and what you'd like to see more of in general from Greece, because I am here for a while, so I'm able to go here, there, and everywhere. So if you want some archaeology content or some more stuff from the other islands, I'm going to try and get around a bit. So do let me know, but I'll link all my other social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next week.